a beautiful day to beat the sun up. Rise and grind and greet your day. Put something new in that coffee cup. Live your life the 6S way. Stay safe, stay sane, stay sexy. Try that new morning routine. And follow your curiosity with RK. It's too early for that note. Hey, Hello. Happy Monday. It's a new week. New, new, new week, new you. New week, new you. Same you, new boobs. Yeah, why, why do a, um, I don't know, why do a New Year's resolution? You can do a new week resolution. Like, that way you can make them really low stakes. Like, my resolution is to get more sleep this week. I mean, that's what we basically do with this show, is that every week we come up with a new thing we're going to do, so. Yeah, but we're like, new week, new snark, this week we're going to, we're going to plural snark, I don't know. No, I, I want I want us to do more more real resolutions. This week. You want a little I'm, R&R. This week I'm allowed to, uh, well, I'm allowed to lift 15 pounds per arm. Look at that. So this week I've been doing that. Uh, My surgeon said, we'll see next week if you're allowed to lift the bar yet. So I'm not allowed to lift the bar yet. But maybe on Wednesday when I go for a checkup, he'll be like, yeah, now you can lift the bar. That's a solid maybe. We'll see. I have nothing exciting. (laughs) Like you on the horizon this week. I'm just, I'm happy we're doing this earlier time. Yeah, guys, welcome to the earlier stressful. show. Uh, our show is going to be earlier forever. Forever. So forever. By watching this show, you are locking yourself into a lifelong commitment, which is make you, you can't die if you have a commitment. Right. So you're stuck here forever now. Yeah, you're now immortal because you must wake up to watch this show at this time every day. So welcome to purgatory. Luckily, you won't you can't die. You're immune to everything now, so that's pretty cool. It's pretty solid. It's not. It's not a bad way. Mm-hmm. It's a good way to start the day. Start get, starting the beat week the off right. Up, beat mortality. See, I did not beat the sun up. I don't know how early the sun has been rising that I still defer the show. It was light when I woke up. I don't know. I I don't know either. I do like how light it is right now. It's definitely comforting. Like I woke up this morning because Aaron's waking up earlier too, and I just saw. Like three candles lit and her Kindle out and Gilmore Girls on in the background on low volume. And I was like, wow, this is the most relaxing sight I've seen. There you go, dude. I love I love <laughs> some low volume TV. That is the most relaxing thing in the world. That is what I fall asleep to. Tyler likes to fall asleep to silence. So I have to fall asleep w- well before him so he can turn off whatever I put on to fall asleep to. Well, aren't you a madman joe well joe is a mad lad we have uh confirmed yeah. that <laughs> we love that about <laughs> joe <laughs> jo- joe's pretty talented yeah um yeah so this week we're following blog Alotis. we've heard there's a lot of controversy with her i don't know anything about her so i'm going into this week completely like who is this person i have no idea who this is but we're gonna find out together and for those of you who requested her um hopefully hopefully we cover all the stuff that's important maybe maybe i'll try some pilates this week in uh as a way to try it out abby's a madman right now and it's all thanks to y'all yeah yeah um i was looking at her i I pulled up her uh site and her stuff that she has at target which is uh wild she has so much shit at target she has more stuff at target than rachel hollis ever had at target which is wild because i'd never heard of this person until you guys suggested her blog galatis i'd never heard of her and it's such an innocent sounding name yeah i mean how could you be mad at someone who just wants to blog about elatis oh and she's such a, a just a normal nice looking person she doesn't look like she's evil she Maybe doesn't look like a scam. <laughs> Maybe she, I don't know. I don't, maybe she's not a scammer. Maybe I haven't gone not. into her stuff yet. I just thought it was funny how you, how you went to the, to the looks. I was like, she doesn't look like. Some people look like, dude, like, 
Grant Cardone looks like a scammer. No, I, I think it's something you. about it must be his uh, smug face. Hot people can't scam you. It's not about being hot. It's okay. about how smug you look at a given moment. I, I, I know what you're saying. I'm just saying, I think it's funnier the other way. Yeah, if you have resting smug face, I can't trust you. Which is so not Dave your fault, Grant. but... All right, let's say hello to everyone. Good morning, Aubrey. Good morning, Crystal. Crystal's awake for it. Yes, we love to see that. Hello, Cher. Cher reminding everyone to smash the like button. Yes. New show, new time. Smash the like button. To make sure people see it in their feeds. And call everyone a handsome son of a gun. Exactly. Exactly. Good morning, Sherry. Good morning, Lizzie. Good morning, Ellen. Good morning, Shelby. Good morning, Laura. Good morning, Ripley. Good morning, Clay. Good morning, Kat. Good morning, Monique. Um, good morning, Jazz. Good morning, Devastatia. Good morning, Meerkat World. Good morning, Kate. Uh, good morning, Courtney. Courtney says, only bright side of when things go wrong. This week the six-year-old has COVID is I get to see your lovely faces. Oh, oh no, I'm so sorry that your six-year-old has COVID. I hope they feel better. Oh my goodness. Hello, Angry Watermelon. Hello, Plates to Weights. Hello, Crystal. Um, doo -doo -doo. um, hello, Joe. Hello, Danielle. Hello to Sassy Amigurumi. Hello, Biological Clock. Plates to Weights. I am not, I can't do the shoulder press again yet. Because it involves having to push weight above my head too far, you know, like uh, just because I have incisions that are still healing here. Oh, I don't want anything to burst open. <laughs> so, um, sort of big news John Batiste won a Grammy last night, and you know, he's he's from New Orleans and he had a lot of New Orleans musicians on it. And remember that high school I told you about, St. Aug? Yeah. They were on they were on the album, so they, they're on a Grammy award winning album now. That's so exciting. Oh right? my god. Congratulations. That's so cool. No, it's pretty cool. Well, because I know Big Chief Monk Boudreau, I think he was either nominated or he was uh, honored there, and then his son was there, and I thought it was kind of funny because Sarah sent me uh that uh, Boudreau Jr. was there and I was like, Yeah, his dad his dad's a big the big deal he's he's the big chief of oh shit i'm gonna totally blank out of this right now i think he was the yellow eagles um i, I gotta look it up before i confirm that one there, there's a lot of tribes but he, he was there and his son was there and I, i'm pretty sure his dad was honored because he's a really talented musician and uh new orleans new orleans did well last night at the grammys as as we always do i love that congratulations to new orleans at the grammys it was wonderful it's fun it's it's a it's a home game or, or no i mean it's an away game it's you know away we, we, game. We, we, yeah. we cheer our squad on i love it i love it um let's see hello ricola and hello sarah hello melody nope you didn't miss anything we're just getting started golden eagles I, I totally, I, I know I said Yellow Eagles, it's Golden Eagles. I'm Because I, uh, Daryl Montana's Yellow Pocahontas, I actually combine those two. <laughs> My bad. So Haley says, okay, Blogilates is one of the OG YouTube fitness girls. That's what I was gathering from some of the stuff I had looked up about her. Is that, um, yeah, she's, she's a, a YouTube fitness influencer who made it big, which I guess good for her, but I'm curious why everyone is uh, so suspicious of her. Maybe be, maybe she's got, is she like V shred? I don't know. I guess we're going to find out. We're going to find out. I mean, I bet you she's not like v, v shred. I bet you if you're a seven foot two ninety 90 pound woman, she doesn't tell you you need to lose weight. I'm willing to put money on that one. Probably she's probably not like V Shred's poorly automated website. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hello, Rotten Ralph. Hello, Morning Bread. Hello, Z Spumoni. Hello, Go Fohawk yourself. 
Uh, Haley says, I think Blogilati seems like a very nice person, even though I don't love her content by any means. I also think it changed a lot over time. Okay, so maybe we gotta go into this with maybe she's not an intentional scammer. Maybe she's just uh, out of her element. I don't know. We're gonna find out. <laughs> or she's not even a scammer. She just maybe gives bad advice. That's possible too. Maybe she, yeah, maybe her advice is just bad and she has no ill intentions. Yeah. But I, I don't know where, where yeah. does where when does a ch when does a chair become a couch and when does bad advice become scamming? When does bad advice become scamming? How how long does a chair have to be to become a couch? People say it's defined as a chair based on if you can have one person sit on it. However, what if you have two? What if two people are very small and can both fit on one chair, Who or one person this? is big and takes up a whole couch? Like I don't know. That's the question. What if those two diabetic oompa loompas from last week are sharing a chair? Is it a couch? Right, exactly, exactly. Where where does one thing end and another thing begin? The whole world is, is theoretical. Uh, the way we speak is theoretical. I, people don't like that. Actually, and and now I forgot. Did we? I, so I think someone said that the uh, Oompa Loompas have a much higher sugar threshold than us, so, so they don't, they don't, they wouldn't get diabetes. So it's just a silly example. I could, uh, I guess. Yeah, maybe not. I don't know. I don't fully know how they how they process insulin and things like that. Poor Oompa Loompas. Um, happy Oompa Loompas. I don't know. How do, am I supposed to feel about Oompa Loompas? Well, by the way, me. guys, someone took me up on the offer to have a debate about what is a woman. This person left many comments on that video, one of which talking about how I look like I'm an insane person, which honestly in that video... I don't think I, I didn't even do weird makeup or anything. I just kind of look normal. So I was like, oh, you just made that up, dude. Um, but that's going to be April 25th well, I don't know. on you my Twitch are. channel. We're going to have a debate about what is a woman. You are an insane person, right? So wouldn't just every look make you look like an insane person? Yeah, that's true. That's true. Maybe that's what he meant. Maybe he was like, well, because he was like, ever see how all these crazy people always look the same? Yep. And I was like, I, I look like. I'm assuming he meant the LGBT community as the crazy people. And I was like, How, I look the same as in what? Like, what well, about me looks crazy? I don't know. That's what the G stands for. Crazy. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. So anyway, one person took me up on it. So that was kind of cool. Um, he seems kind of hostile. So I don't know how the debate's going to go. We'll find out. It's going to be on my Twitch channel in on April 25th. On Dragon Ball Z. On Dragon Ball Z. Next episode. Yeah, we'll see how that goes. We'll see how it goes. Um, the Sarah, the fact that I don't know how Oompa Loompas process insulin is a sense that I've said on my show is one of the reasons. It's my, thank you, Sarah. <laughs> oh, today is Heidi's Sus Summit. Oh, dude, we should be covering that. Too bad we're covering Blogilates. I mean, I guess we could do a reaction video if we have time. I like that we don't cover trending topics. I like that this is that's our true. Trending show topics are time. stressful, dude. They're stressful to be like, oh shit, that's happening right now. We better get this out quick. We'll and cover so sus in the future, dude. Yeah, when it's no longer relevant, because <laughs> that's what this show is about: covering things that are no longer relevant. Uh, yeah, Laura. Maybe I'll simultaneously. Uh, maybe I'll cast it to YouTube too. Maybe I'll cast it to both at the same time. Thought I'd cast it to Twitch because I'm. Twitch monetization, you have to have the thing cast only to Twitch for the first 24 hours and then re-upload it to YouTube later for Twitch to monetize it. Um, but I guess, honestly, I have such a bigger audience on YouTube that, like, if I monetize on YouTube, I'd probably make more money that way anyway. I'll just probably cast it to both at the same time. Um... Wait, Monate's imploding too? Oh, wait, Sarah, is that what you were sending me things about? I don't know. I was drunk watching the Bake Off all weekend, so <laughs> I don't know. Like, people sent me information about things, and I was looking at it, and I don't remember almost anything. I What I do remember this weekend, I spent all of Saturday writing my Brene Brown script. It is long as fuck. It's like 20 pages long, single-spaced. And then I also have four interviews that I did with other people for it. Um and like other footage and clips to edit in. This video is going to be fucking long. I have to finish filming today. Uh, so I did it. And then, but I wanted to film the parts where I dress up as Brene Brown and say her quotes as if I'm her. And so I had to straighten my hair for that. So that was another thing I did. I straightened my hair this weekend. 
And then you did like punk rock photo shoot with. And I did. Uh, then I did my like punk rock thirst trap pictures. Um, that was fun. And yeah, then it sucks they don't play the drums. Yeah, I would look good as a drummer in those You'd pictures. Look good as a drummer. Yeah. Or or a bassist, because you could totally be chillo. It's a bass. Chillo, you got a bass. For anyone, I'll show you guys what I look like with uh, straight hair, if anyone did see on social media. This is what I look like with straight hair, I found out. So that was me with straight hair doing a workout. Um, I thought I looked pretty cool. Wait, why did you pull up David Bowie? And then th this, is, this is me looking like a... Yeah, that's me in my new jacket. I think I'll wear that jacket to film a video today just because I love this jacket so much. Yeah, dude, you look cool. I look cool as fuck there, dude. So very very punk rock. Yeah. Or not even that actually, just just rock. Yeah, I look like I'm gonna I'm gonna have a, a new hit that dads are gonna listen to for the next forty years. Yeah, you know, you you look like Tom Petty, rest in peace, asked you to step in for a gig. Yeah, I love it. I love that. That is the best compliment. It's the best compliment. Got your back. I look like the cool boy from 1998, seventh grade. I hope the cool boy didn't have his boobs on display in seventh grade. Gene. He absolutely did. <laughs> douche kid's afraid to leave his douche. Douche kid's afraid to leave his douche. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yes, I need. To, okay, I need to, this whole situation that Sarah was sending me information on looks wild. I need to actually delve into this. One of their top eight percent was fired while she was on live on an interview with Roberta Blevins, and things have gotten okay. Shit, that's you crazy. couldn't write better fiction than that. Like we go wild with cancel Sean Boston, and even we didn't have something like that. Right? I think that. Well, that's the thing, dude. Cancel Sean Boston. We write shit in there, and then the real shit happens on the internet. Like after we, like, we've talked about how things like that seem to pop up regularly. Like you, Shane Dawson's having a baby now. Did you know that? He's pregnant. He's pregnant from the cat. <laughs> yeah, the cat got him. He's pregnant. Oh, Shane. Yep. Silly little perv. Yep. Yep. He and his cat are having are having a half human, half cat baby together. Ew. <laughs> yeah yes i'm glad rob, rob asked the same question shane dawson is pregnant from his cat yes oh yeah I mean, i'm also happy that rotten ralph agreed with sarah that that they're here for the same thing of oompa loompa insulin questions shit i really need to set up a p.o box i'm sorry kitty i need to set one of those up with the post office i keep forgetting to do that i will eventually i just I hate when people do nice things for me, so I, 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 I don't ever set it up. Well, I'll set it up <laughs> over here because I probably should have a P.O. box for other business-related expenses. Any, or not expenses, uh, shipments. Anyway, so I will... Is that how personas are... No. <laughs> that is not how personas are born whatsoever. Oof! Y'all are feeling a little... It's the early time. Y'all are feeling time, a little Everyone's snarky. feeling edgy. Everyone is ready to... to Everyone's yeah. ready to fucking go. Yeah, everyone's like, let's make jokes that could get us canceled today. Let's do this. Let's let's make the edgy jokes. Let's let's go let's go back to two thousand eight. Savvy straightened her hair and looks like it's two thousand eight. So let's all make fucking edgy ass jokes that are gonna get us canceled. Exactly. Before eight is two thousand eight. Correct. Correct. So it looks Thanks. like I've got a lot of topics to cover. Um since I've uh, got to get this, I'm doing this Brene Brown video for this Friday. Uh, I got to get that done. Maybe I'll do a video about this whole Monet imploding thing, which sounds wild. Maybe I'll do a video about Suscon. There's a lot of videos to make, and this Brene Brown video is going to be like two hours long and it well, you require just... a fuckload of editing. So I've got to spend the entire week on that. So, and then I'm going out of town next week. So. <laughs> We'll, we'll figure this out, guys. I've got a lot to do this week. It's just going to be a busy week for me. That's okay. That's okay. You could always just do one as a live stream if you're feeling a little overwhelmed. I could. I could. But I've... Eh, no. You don't have to. I'm just trying to make your life easier, bro. Yeah. Yeah, I gotcha. Um, 
Yeah, let's make edgy jokes to celebrate Shane Dawson's pregnancy. Yes, Sean. No, I clearly like when people do nice things for me. I just, 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 yeah. Kitty, I'll just send you my real address in the <laughs> DMs because I trust that you're not going to use it to uh, send like uh, assassins after me or anything. <laughs> Assassin Oompa Loompas, you open Assassin the box. Assassin Oompa Loompas. <laughs> <laughs> all right yo they actually all impa loopas are assassins i totally forgot they just sing very happy songs as they murder you yes <laughs> correct that's what oompa loompas are there for um okay guys let's take a look at this blogalotti's character who is she all right, this is her site. It is very aesthetically pleasing. All right, good for you, food. What the fuck is this sparkly yogurt that she... What? What? This is good for you. That looks... Yeah, that I doesn't look you. like food, but okay. If, if she says it's good for you, that... Okay, so this is the blog Alati's woman herself. Cassie, I believe, is her name. And then she has a dreamy cottage core collection. Her dog is very cute. All right, let's see if we can look at... Um... Is there stuff? Uh, okay, so the blog, I imagine, is the main part, as she is blog a Oh, dude, she's gotten so good at pictures, though. Like, every single picture is just top tier. Yeah, these are but, good pictures. Look at that lift. Is that her? Which one? The one right there in the middle. With this the one? Shoulder. I don't know, because I didn't think she didn't look like she was that muscular in other pictures. So I would yeah, imagine that's why it caught my attention. I'd imagine this is a different person. I don't know, but she doesn't. No, this know. is All... by Kennedy Hill. This looks like it's a guest post, maybe. All brunettes look the same when you can't see their face. Debate. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, but I like this woman's arms. Dude, that, that woman is strong. That woman's strong. Yeah, Blogilati seems to be much smaller. I think she is not doing much in the bodybuilding realm. Oh my god. What the fuck are you doing? No one likes you. Okay, so these... I don't know why she keeps having these sparkly bras everywhere, but this looks like her... This is her blog about... I guess this is her blog about fitness and what she's doing. So that's it looks the like blog there's part. a lot going on. I, honestly, this woman has big Rachel Hollis energy. And the reason I'm saying that is not, not in a negative way, just in an objective way. Like, this is like, if we go back to, if we want to look at Rachel circa 2016 or so, we want to look at like chic media. This is, this is basically what she was doing then, but this is like a fitness version. I, I like oh. the titles though, because like things like uh, "Journey to a Split" or uh, the "28 Day Whatever" are good for you. Like they're all very clear on what you're going to get when you click those, while being also brief. Uh, Kitty says, "Fun fact: I was featured on her website back in 2016 when I lost weight and toned up after doing her pit work." Oh wait, hold up. Where can we find this? I want to see if we can find uh, Kitty. Do you remember what the title of the post was? I want to find it. Because if I just go onto the blog and scroll back to 2016, that's going to take a long time. Haley, oh, the spark, the, that makes perfect sense. I don't know why I didn't think of that. The sparkly bras are competition suits. Here's a question for everybody. If I ever wanted to do a bodybuilding competition, like where you show off your body, is it required to wear heels for those? Because like, I'm willing to do all the like dehydration and all the other like terrible stuff for you, but I'm not willing to wear heels because that's going to fuck with my scoliosis. And that is the one that is, that is the, the one thing I will not do is fuck with my back. I'll fuck with everything else, but not my back. So someone let me know, is wearing heels required for those? Or should Did you I just... really just say that you'll fuck with your organs before you fuck with your back? hundred percent. Yeah. <laughs> Fucking wild. Wait, so the heels are required? Like, is it required by, like, is it a rule that you have to wear them? Or is it just that, like, it gives you an advantage because it makes you look taller? Can I wear platform sandals instead? Oh, okay. So, Sarah, okay. Sarah's seen people do them barefoot. All right. Okay. I'll do it barefoot. I'll probably, it probably put me at a disadvantage because you want to look taller. Just, I'd say I'm tall for a woman. Get taller. But 
it's not that hard but i'm not tall compared to women who are going to be intentionally wearing heels so savvy if you want to get taller just just be taller and if you want to be if you want money just 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 get money gosh life's so easy wait so heels are required okay that's a little ableist but i guess i am talking about bodybuilding competitions so (laughs) i don't think they have many uh disability accommodations in the first place Um, emily you will not win without heels okay what if i enter the men's division men don't wear heels for it right so could i win the men's division without heels or probably not because i would be short compared to all the men i'd be a little small baby I mean, the good news is you don't have to stress about this for a very long time. Oh yeah, very long time. This is years in the future, if ever. So yeah, so I wouldn't, I wouldn't even begin stressing about it yet. Yeah. Okay. Sounds good. Sounds good. D- d- don't bring stress of a, of a hypothetical multiple year goal. <laughs> bring down your Monday morning. That's a good point. You bring up a good point. I know I do. <laughs> yeah. Um. Oh, I was looking, by the way, someone, okay, so someone in the comments in my What is a Woman video had commented and was like, well, Savvy, you do powerlifting. If you ever, I don't know if you're going to compete, but if you compete, wouldn't you hate if some biologically male person came in and beat you? And I'm like, first of all, if someone can lift more than me, then I didn't deserve to win, okay? I don't want, I'm not part of this this participation dro- trophy snowflake bitch generation, okay? If I want to win, if I'm going to win, that means I lifted the most out of all of you, okay? So yes, that includes if trans women want to compete. Second of all, what they don't know is that that day I had just been looking up leagues to join to potentially start competing and I had to rule a lot out because a lot of them are not friendly to trans participants. And because of that, I refuse to compete. I refuse to compete in a league that's that is not going to be inclusive. The, I've even seen ones that are like, we are inclusive. However, um, if you take testosterone because you are transitioning, that still counts as taking steroids. So you will get eliminated. And I was like, no, it does not still count as taking. So what the fuck? It's not like if you take testosterone, you'll compete in the men's league. It's like if you take testosterone, you're eliminated. And it's like, whoa, excuse me, what? So anyone who is a, a trans person isn't allowed to uh, compete. So I was like, that's fucking stupid. I thought you wanted to take steroids anyway. So if you just find a league that doesn't test for that shit. Yeah, I guess I could. Have, well, I'm, I, but I don't take steroids because Kat Benson told me I'm not allowed to. So I just Yeah, but you it. said you'll fuck up your organs and just not your back. So Right, it. but like I also listen to whatever Kat tells me. Got it. So Kat's your angel. Yeah, so I'm still looking for some kind of uh, adult league to compete in. If anyone has recommendations, but yeah. No, you should compete in the kids' league. I compete in the kids' league. That's that's a great idea. That's a great idea. (laughs) A league that definitely doesn't doesn't even allow trans women to compete is definitely going to allow adults to compete in the kids' league. You're right. Exactly. Um, <laughs> I'd love to just see these kids struggling to lift like a lot of weight for them, and then you just like destroy them and just start flexing up. Well, because one of the things on that site too was like, if you're a 40 year old college student, no, you don't get to compete in the college league. And I'm like, why not? You're in college. Does college league mean under 23, or does it mean you're in college? Because a lot of people, I'm like, that's the, that's a little classist. Because a lot of people can't go to college right when they're 18 because of money issues, dude. Um, yeah, dude, I'd like to. I'd like to start. I'd like to compete in weightlifting at some point. I want to do some competitions. Maybe when we do CrossFit week, maybe I'll maybe I'll join a CrossFit gym and do a CrossFit competition one day. Yeah, it's because I thought CrossFit allows or doesn't have many restrictions on on trans, right? I don't know. I don't know anything about CrossFit. Yeah. I do. Um, I did. I did. Wa- I do watch uh, YouTube videos of the CrossFit Games because I think those are fun, and I think it's fun to find strong women to follow on Instagram. Well, because I, I didn't. I don't know if CrossFit does a lot of um, separation of gender for for certain competitions. I thought it was just based on weight. Yeah, I think it depends because well, the most of the CrossFit stuff I watch has been all women or all men, but it could just be that that's how the weight classes worked out for that oh kitty found the post okay kitty send me the link send me or yeah you you have mod 
status, right? So you can link in the chat, I think. Um, all right, so we're going to look at the post from Kitty in a second, but we're also going to... I'm going to eat your fucking face. All right. So this is the, so the pit is, this is what Kitty did, I'm guessing. Oh, Kitty linked it. Oh, Kitty linked it. Okay. All right, wait, I don't know how to open a, a link from over here. Let's figure this out. Oh yeah. Cause like it's, it, you can't really copy and paste. Oh, so, I can't, yeah, really, can't copy really copy and paste. paste it. You know what? I'm going to type it in like a mad lad. Here we go. Blogilates.com slash blog slash pit 28. Dot one dot zero dash round two transformations. Uh, oh, that wasn't even that hard to type in. I like that. Okay, you know what, Kitty? Yes, I will try her pit workout. Yeah, send it. I'll try yeah, it. Send it to me. We'll try I'll it this week it. and review it. Yeah, that sounds good. Oh, I'm sorry. All right, I'm here we go. For you. This is from 2016. This is, and we are on the Lagalotti's over here. Okay, get that ad out of here. Thank you. Whoa! That's Kitty right there. Look at Kitty go. Girl, look at you. That's amazing. Look at that muscle hey. definition. Look at those abs, dude. Dude, those are abs that Grant Cardone would happily do cocaine off of. <laughs> Okay, so this is, wow, guys, I'm seriously blown away by all your progress, and I'm not just talking about the physical. I can see you're stronger, happier, and more confident. Your before and after pics are so motivational, so thank you for posting them and writing about how you truly feel about the program. Simply by doing that, you inspire people to change their lives. You are impacting the world through your own fitness journey. Wow, Blogilates writing is really boring. Okay, anyway. Well, so why, why, why say too much when the picture says a thousand words? That's 2, true. words, because there's two. There's Kitty getting strong, getting strong as hell over here. We love it. We love it. And then there's a bunch of other people whose things are not loading, but that's okay because Kitty's the only one we cared about. Kitty says, I do not look like that anymore. Um, if you say so, I bet you look fairly similar to this. Maybe, maybe you don't still have the strong ab definition, but... I don't know, Kitty. What are your thoughts on the the uh, the, the, the on blogilates and the programs and all that? Yeah, let us know. Do you want to hop on? <laughs> if you want to hop on, let us know. Or know that's like late, at totally some point, late, if no. you want to hop on. Oh, oh hello, God. Remy. No, don't say hello to him. He's a douche. Hi, Remy. Who's a good boy? All right, go on, douche. Douche kids afraid to leave his douche. Douche kids afraid to leave his so, douche. So okay. This Don't is my worry, weightlifting. I did for the not morning. dox myself because this is this target incorrectly predicted which is my target store. I picked a different target, so that's not even the target near me. So if you're like Safi goes to the Rogers Park target, I'm gonna go meet her there. You'll, you'll be at the wrong target. Anyway, uh, this is Blogilates target <laughs> stuff. You go to this target to see someone outside with brass knuckles. And someone's out there like ready to like, so if you're sending assassins to meet me at target and they go to the Rogers Park target, they're not going to meet me there. That's the wrong target. That's going to be in one of the cancel books. Meet me at the wrong target. <laughs> meet me at the wrong target. <laughs> um... That could be the title of the book, the, tar the, the story, The Target's at Target. The Target at Target! <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Um, okay, so this is the blog a lot stuff at Target. I will say, this yoga mat is really cool looking. She has some cool looking shit. I get why people, I get why she's popular. Because, like, that looks cool. That's a cool looking mat. <clears throat> Yeah, making cool shit helps you get popular. I love how her dumbbells jump from 3 pounds to 15 pounds. Well, that's because 4 to 14 is weak. Yeah. Oh, wait, no, she has a 5 one. Never mind. It's just in the out of order on the site. That's because 4 to 14, with the exception of 5, is weak. <laughs> exactly. 
Oh, Kitty will hop on this week. She says, I need to gather my thoughts because I have a lot to say. I followed her 2013 to 2018. There were good times and not so good times. I would love to hear about your full experience. Um, honestly, she's her stuff is attractive. Like, look at Jazz. those, like, look at those fun patterned resistance bands. Jazz says that the yoga mats are great for sweaty yoga. Sweaty so yoga. Attraction. Oh, I have a, I don't have a blog, a lot of fitness journal. I have a different fitness journal that I've been forgetting to fill out. I've kind of let my journaling habits go by the wayside. You can't, you can't, uh, you can't do every, you can't have every habit be a winner. Well, I mean, you can, you just gotta, well, not every habit too, but I don't know. One of the things I've been learning is just start with one. You know, if you, if you want to, if you really want to like make yourself healthier, you don't try and do everything all at once and make it a habit. You start slow with one of them and then you grow that one and then you start another one. It's a lot more sustainable. So this is her starter kit. What does the starter kit include? Oh, there, look, that's a video of her. It includes her? Okay, so it's like mats, resistance bands, a ball. I wonder if the ball is either for reflexes or for like rolling out on your shoulders and shit like that to loosen tension. And then she has like a ton of supplements. I did not see de bloat there. De bloat. What the fuck, de bloat? Sculpt and de bloat. <laughs> Sculpt and de bloat. De bloat. De bloat. I've never heard someone called uh, getting less bloated de bloat, but if, if that's what it's called, that's what it's called. Da bloat. Da bloat. <laughs> See, here's the thing, Kat. I'm struggling to find the about section on her website. She has multiple sculpt and de bloat. She has multiple de bloats. De bloat. <laughs> Dude, look at that cute ass place. kettlebell. She made it. That's a cute kettlebell. Everything is cute. That is kind of cute. I don't want cute kettlebells. I want kettlebells that look like they were forged in like the fires of Mordor. That's fair. And that's a fair thing to want. Yeah. Mostly because, you know, it meets both my, my fitness goals of being a badass and um, my nerd goals of being a badass. That's important. That's important. Um, I'm the bloat. Okay, Plates to Weights says, pretty sure she's certified for Pilates instruction, but also 99% sure she doesn't have any formal education in nutrition, like a degree. Um, okay. Well, when I searched for her having controversies, here's the first thing that I found was this article from Women's Health. Um about her being on a 90 day weight loss challenge her about me's at the bottom of her website oh wait hold on we'll go there first go to blogalotties.com oh yeah Haley, i was purposely saying it is dubbers but like da bloat da bloat <laughs> Ooh, okay where's the about section <laughs> Oh, are these like her YouTube videos? We'll have to check out her YouTube channel too. Duh. Okay. What kind of degree in nutrition for nutrition is acceptable? I don't actually know. I have no idea. I'm not an expert in it. Oh, here we go. About me. I, I want Kat to make her own certification. Oh, yeah, if Kat certifies me in something, I then I trust that I... Yeah, exactly. I just trust her. Okay, about blog Blogilates. Let's learn about her. So that's what she looks like. That's her body. Let me just mute. Cassie Ho is on a mission to spread the joy of fitness. With over 10 million subscribers across all platforms, Cassie's upbeat personality and genuine care for her students is what makes her an award-winning fitness instructor. She's been teaching her signature form at Pop Pilates for over 14 years and has certified thousands of instructors to teach the unique class in gyms across the world. 
With over 4,000 live in-studio classes being taught every month, Cassie's workouts have inspired millions of young women to get in the best shape of their lives mentally and physically and now can be found in the top-rated mobile app body by Blogilates. Cassie's passion for bringing joy. Okay, so this is all just about how she loves to spread the joy of fitness. If she says bringing joy one more time, I'm going to explode. Um, but I'm not seeing a lot about uh, what her background is. Maybe it'll go oh, into it. So She's sorry, been on some magazines, I guess. Gene, that wasn't a needle. That, that there was no needle there. That was a um, just a plunger to squirt to, into her mouth. That was oral medication. Sorry about that. Okay, I didn't even see it. I was too busy looking at. Um, uh, we give these we magazine give rogue, covers. We give rogue gabapentin about an hour and a half to two hours before her shot. To or well, this is yeah, this is an hour and a half to two hours before her shot. So that um, it's. It, it, I don't know. It's, it's, it's a nerve medicine and it makes her more relaxed and it reduces uh, nerve pain. Yeah. That's, that's good. Poor Rogue. She's dealing with so much. All right. So she's been on all of these magazines. Well, she's been on Dr. Oz. I don't know if I would trust that for anything. But I also don't necessarily trust the uh, scene on sections because some of that, it, that's not necessarily being put. And, and I'm not saying anything against her. I'm just saying whenever I see that in sections of people's websites, I know a lot of it is paid for by public. She probably has a publicist that was able to get her. Oh, sure. Yeah, I don't her. think her being on the Dr. Oz show is what makes her not credible. No, no, no. I don't. Yeah. Oh, oh no, but I just mean like, like, for example, like Cosmopolitan. We don't necessarily know if they, if, I mean, they may have, I don't know right now because we just started this week. They don't, they haven't necessarily featured her. They may have just like, uh, taken one of her blogs from her website and republished or something like that. Now, I want to check out this book called Hot Body Year Round. That's just called Living in New Orleans. <laughs> right? You're constantly hot. Like. <laughs> okay, wait, what's this video? The Perfect Body. Let's find out. I'm going to put it on one and a half speed so that she doesn't try to copyright claim us. Okay, so this video looks like she's getting sad because she's getting comments from people who are insulting her body so what cassie needs to learn is that women being called fat on the internet is just a thing that happens if you're a woman on the internet i have recently learned that because i was part, part of me was like i'm wondering because people would call me fat as an insult on the internet and i was like well to be fair nobody everyone only sees me from the chest up and i do have a very large head and at the time, massive boobs. So it's possible they were just extrapolating the rest of my body from that. And people were like, no, that's just what every woman, that's just being a woman on the internet. And I was like, oh, because I was like, I wonder if it, people will stop that after I get surgery. And they're like, no, being a woman on the internet means you get called fat. Yeah. I got a, a DM once from Rachel Oates telling me that someone called her fat on the internet. And I'm like, excuse me. <laughs> She's like underweight. <laughs> And she was telling me at the time she was like numerically underweight at the time that someone called her fat. This is the thing of being a woman on the internet is people just call you fat. So I, 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 that's not okay that like people are commenting on people's bodies, but like, and saying that, but I think that that's probably just people being rude on the internet for the sake of it. And Cassie shouldn't take that to heart too much. But so, so this, Especially considering she is uh, extremely thin, objectively. Extremely fit, too. Like. And extremely, yeah. But I mean, I think that's the whole point of this video, too, right? Is that you shouldn't... I think, I'm assuming okay, so the she's point of this video fat. is about uh, not, take it, not thinking too much about all that criticism. Wait, never mind. She is called fat. Like four of these are fat, are your fat or pudgy, and then one of them is no butt. Yeah, one of them is no butt. Yeah, that's the thing. Mm -hmm. Oh, so she's like 
Oh, this is actually an interesting concept for a video. So she's like live photoshopping her body. Is she her butt bigger, right dude. Now? That's the thing. Is she still? I bet she's still gonna get the hate comments after this. Is that gonna be? I think that's where the video is going. After this, she's still gonna get the hate comments because that's just what rude people on the internet do, regardless. Yeah, so she's live Photoshop. That I mean, that's that's a cool visual effect for a video. I will say, dude, she looks like a fucking sim now. I was literally gonna say the same thing. I was ready. She for looks a like when I'm making a sim, and I want to give them a bigger ass, so I just drag the slider. You want to make them taller when they sit down? She's gonna get the same comments. Or no, or she just You said you were Kurt. You said you were <laughs> Sorry. I'm Ed, I'm aware. You said you were Kurt. <laughs> Anytime someone says I'm aware, I just that's where my mind goes. Wait, oh I thought the end What so the end of it was just her changing her body and looking in the mirror? <laughs> What, what a shitty video, dude! Okay, I really thought that was gonna be impactful. I really thought she was gonna get the same comments and have this realization that people are rude on the video, internet. It was a shitty end. <laughs> Which I but guess the, is a shitty video. At the end, she <laughs> she's like, "Now I'm happy. I changed everything about myself, and now I'm happy." That was that's a globo. This is ass. like as okay. I'm not a psychologist <laughs> either, but as Kitty say, this this okay. This reminds me. This has body dysmorphia feelings big. Like, I will say, since I don't really feel body dysmorphia anymore now that I have smaller boobs, when I did feel it, though, someone on the internet, this is what I would say, like, someone on the internet would tell me I'm fat, and I would just take their word for it, because I had no concept of what I looked like. And then I'd be like, okay, thanks for letting me know I'm fat, guys. It's good to know I'm fat. I'm going to go through the world being able to perceive myself as fat now. And then the next day, someone on the internet would tell me I'm thin, and I'd be like, well, shit. That conflicts with what the other person said. How do I actually look? And then someone would be like, would like group me in with like feminine presenting YouTubers. And then the next day someone would be like, are you a trans man? I can't tell. And I'd be like, well, shit, do I look masculine? Do I look feminine? Do I look fat? Do I look thin? I really can't tell. And because I have no perception of myself, I just have to take everyone's word for it and it all conflicts. And I would just get very confused and lose all perception of reality and ability to trust my senses. You never look masculine. You just sometimes look like an asshole. And I think sometimes people just mess those <laughs> up wrong for you. See, that's why you're the only person I can trust because you'll just make stupid jokes. And that's what I'm here for. I'm here for it. And who says my jokes are stupid? Dick. Who says I want to be relatable? <laughs> my jokes are high intelligence, okay? Yeah, I think that's the point of the video, Gene. Yeah, I think the point she was going for, like you're saying, is that at the end of the video, she's unhappy with the body she has that she changed for other people. And she was happier with her original body at the beginning. So I think that's the point. But I thought, like, dude, she all she had to do was then pull up the negative comments that happen even after you change your body to look like what other people say. Or pull up the positive comments and then show how sad she is. Yeah, pull up the positive comments. I'm like, now you look better. <laughs> you look Congrats, like a sim. I hope anymore. all women look like sims because I just want to play the sims. I Actually, I think I'm going to go play the sims instead of watching <laughs> YouTube. Bye. <laughs> okay, Sodium and Spite felt that. I'm glad you felt that. I feel I, you felt that. That's just because Sodium and Spite has a lot of feelings. I just have a lot of feelings. I just have a lot of feelings. That's me. <laughs> yeah, I'm glad to follow Blog Lotties after I am doing uh, better with body dysmorphia because, uh, dude, this is relatable to how I used to feel a lot. This is so sad. <laughs> I didn't... SMT says this video reminded me of that video from years ago of the model getting shit for having makeup on. People kept saying how fake she is. That. After she took the makeup off, they said how ugly she is. See, that's the thing, dude. If pe people on the internet who want to be rude are just going to be rude. Like, 
there is no like you could look the way they said they want you to look and then they'll criticize you for that like just because they're just in the mood to be rude yeah. it has nothing to do with what you actually look like they're just, just gonna spam funny. rude comments to everyone yeah this, this is why cults have it right they just they just crave the attention of one person <laughs> exactly exactly their god yeah who usually has an iq of whatever he states on his website that's another red flag i put it up there with if they have their if they well no if they have their astro sign alone it's okay but if they combine their astro sign with a hunger games district or harry potter house and their myers brig and then if they add their iq on top of all of that you got the biggest psycho in the world and you run away <laughs> <laughs> okay hold up i want to check out this description of her book so she has a book here we go um so that's her bio right there hot body year round is your ultimate exercise and nutrition guide to living a fit happy healthy life while sculpting your hottest body Cassie will show you how to stay motivated throughout the year, no matter what the challenges are. You'll get 120 of her best total body transforming exercises, the Pop Pilates exercise library. Okay, so this looks like, this book looks like it is mostly a workout guide. Let's see. Wait, was Brave New World recommended to you or recommended to people who buy this book? <laughs> I don't know. It's up one more. Oh, that's recommended. Books you to may me. like. <laughs> I was gonna say if it's people who bought this book also bought Brave products New related World. to this item are not Brave New Brave New World. <laughs> this workout is related to dystopian, dystopian literature. literature. <laughs> <laughs> so that's her book. I don't think I'll buy it. I think I'm just gonna let Kitty send me the workout that I'm gonna try. Man, we got kitties, we got cats, we got bitches. This this chat's got it all. So that's Blogilates with that. Okay, so now we can take a look at her stuff on women's health. So on the women's health magazine, it says... Fitness IG star Cassie Ho is on a 90-day weight loss challenge and people have feelings. Just because a woman wants to lose weight or change her body does not mean she's not body positive. Oh, I'd agree with that. I'd agree with that. Let's see what happens here. I like that lipstick color. That's nice. Looks good. I'm sure that if we dig dive deep into her, we're going to find a lot that we like because she is very popular for a reason. I'm sure it's not difficult to find good advice and things to like. It's just a... It sounds like yeah the more you grow the more difficult to be or, or the more you have to be aware of the responsibility of your posts yeah exactly so yeah everyone in the chat let us know what some of the controversies you want us to look up about her are. and you know what brianna jewel posted a video about her recently so we can react to that too if we can react to that tomorrow and see what's up with her Oh, hi. Fitness guru and Instagram superstar Cassie Ho has revealed that she is taking up a 90-day challenge to get in the best shape of her life after gaining 14 pounds in a year, and the internet has feelings. 14 pounds, I don't think is that much. I don't oh, know, wow. I guess. That's a lot. I gained 15 pounds in my first bulk cycle. Of that's a lot. Thing. I guess it's a lot. I don't know. My I, I body, mean, I'm not, I'm, I'm, my body like was the same size afterwards, other than my biceps and shoulders being bigger. Well, because it's 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 not. I'm I'm not saying you gained bad weight. I know a fair amount of it was muscle, but still a lot of weight. Yeah, I guess. I, I was. Then I lost it after my surgery, but that's because a combination of getting boob tissue removed and being in a cut cycle. Yeah, and the other thing too is that you also have um you were getting beginner gains because you you had. That's true. Those are beginner gains, I guess. Yeah. That's a good point. That's a good point. No, I think the isn't the average amount of like muscle a person can gain it's like either one pound a month or like just under one pound a month. Like it's, it's plus or minus a little bit, but I know one is sort of the magic number. Okay. Well, I definitely gained more than one pound a month. 
because you had the beginner gains going. Because I had beginner gains. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. yeah, if you look at videos of me from last summer versus videos of me now, I had like noodle arms. My arms were so small. They were so weak. My arms are fucking big now. And they're going to keep getting bigger. Uh, Kitty yeah. says her nutrition advice was pretty controversial. There's a video where a nutritionist who reviews what I eat in a day video. Okay, great. I'm going to, we're, we're going to look at that. I'll make sure we'll, we'll, we'll do some, let's, re, well, tomorrow we can do some video reactions. I think that's a great idea. I don't, I want, I want a Shrek workout, like body by Shrek, how you can own your swamp. Yes. So body by Shrek. In that's DC great. And Nola. Okay. Here's a question, guys. Do you think Shrek is hot? I think he has a great dad bod. If that's your because thing. That's what I, was, I was talking to Tyler about this the other day about whether Shrek is hot and and Fiona Tyler was saying no that these ogre characters are not hot I was saying I think Shrek is hot dude this remember how like I told you I'm gonna be happy if I go through my whole life without you ever thinking I'm hot well yeah because you think my standards are all weird very weird I mean your standards are Shrek and Steve Buscemi dude it's not just my like I I think a lot of people are hot I'm sure I think people well, actually, that's not true, because if someone pulled up an attract, like, a considered attractive male celebrity, I'd probably be like, no, that does nothing for me. Someone pulls up Steve Buscemi, and I'm like, oh, hell yeah. You don't like, you don't like Nina Dobrev, but, like, you like Shrek, so, yeah, I, I don't trust <laughs> your, your taste. Um... <laughs> uh... Yeah, I think part of it's the Scottish accent. Yeah, Haley. We keep clicking the same. Th My hands are up. You click. Okay, uh, Scott. I love this. I think the Scottish accent is very attractive, and that just makes Shrek hotter for me. And also, I don't know, Shrek just like he's got a good thing going for him. Oh, you can't you can't talk about personalities right now for a scripted character. So when I was a kid, here's the thing. This was this was young little simp savvy at nine years old. Going to see uh, Shrek in the movie theater. And I'm like, I thought Fiona was super hot as a princess. And when I found out she decided to permanently be an ogre at the end, I was like, oh, fuck no. Like, I understand that that was a better, that was a better ending, but I wanted, I wanted her to stay the way I was attracted to her. You really but, said fuck this. No, yeah, I didn't yeah, say yeah. that in the movie theater as a child. No, I did not. But that was like that was like my reaction. And then as as an adult, I could look at Ogre Fiona and think she's hot too. You're funny. Guys, Shrek is Shrek is hot. I don't know what you guys are talking about. Hey. I mean, I, I have nothing against you thinking Shrek's out. I'm just laughing at you. Okay, this you. is another important point. In Beauty and the Beast, the the prince is way hotter when he's the beast. When he becomes the prince at the end, he's so bland. He's got no flavor at the end. When he's the beast, the beast is the hot version. I'm feeling... Mm, I'm feeling isolated. <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the thing that everyone needs to remember. When people talk about wanting to be hot, you've got to remember that hot is extremely subjective depending on whose standards you're talking about. Okay, see, a lot of people love the Beast and thought he was hot. Other people think Shrek is not hot. Some people think Shrek is hot. My point is everyone's, everyone's uh, standards are different. And that's oh, okay. I, I don't mind people having these as standards. I'm just <laughs> I'm wondering what part of the internet I have reached where a majority of people are talking about how ogres and, and giant dogs are hotter than the princess. The beast play. is not a giant dog. What are you talking about? My bad. He's just a beast. He's a beast. He's a generic beast. He's not any particular type of beast. Yeah, he's the beast was hot, dude. He, he's not a newfie. I get it. Monster. Yeah, dude. Monster. See, monster romance is big. You want to take the monster and turn the monster romance lead man into like some scrawny little human dude? Hell no. No, you keep him as a fucking monster because that's what people are there for. I, I, I know. I know Shape of Water was the deaf main yeah character. that's a question and the shape of water fish. was the fish hot that's the next question I, I, no it was just a fish 
Sometimes, sometimes. He was not just a fish. He was uh, anthropomorphic. Sometimes a fish is just a fish. I'm pretty sure Freud said that. I don't think Freud said that. I know he did. Next he question was his... Freud hot? Answer no. Depends Following question was had. Freud's mom hot? Probably if Freud spent so much time talking about how everyone must want to fuck their mom. <laughs> And my whole theory is that I'm not the weird one. Everyone wants to fuck their mom, right? I mean, it depends on how hot his mom is. Right? It depends on how hot his mom is. Let's look her up. <laughs> Freud's mom. <laughs> All right. I mean, hell yeah. Let's look at her. Damn. Amelia Freud? L yeah, Freud, what's up? What's up, <sighs> Freud's mom? Yeah. She looks very upset. She looks disappointed in him. He's like, How, yeah, I'm knows... disappoint I disappointed you, mommy. Tell me you're disappointed. That's what Freud says. <laughs> okay, um... Sorry about that, guys. Redirect okay. the conversation. We're not talk about <laughs> Freud's mom anymore. <laughs> I guess there's a PowerPoint presentation on why Bell should have chosen. Yes, Bell. I have seen that, and it's like one of the things uh, Gaston contributes to France's economy in the local village by buying five dozen eggs every single day. That's important, Gaston. I get it, man. I get it. And Haley's just simping for Mulan's love interest. Oh, dude, everyone in Mulan was hot. I think we can all agree. Mulan and Li Shang were the hottest Disney couple of all time. Okay, Sarah, this is a gross misrepresentation of the quote. You should say, Savvy says, Freud says everyone wants to fuck their mom. I did not say that. That's what Freud. That's what I was reiterating. Yeah, and I said depends on how hot Freud's mom is. <laughs> yeah, dude, you got you got to completely re <laughs> no. That, the way you phrased that was very inaccurate, and I do not like it whatsoever. Uh, okay, so anyway, she's talking about wanting to lose weight so that she could look more like a Disney princess. Chasing Cthulhu. <laughs> the U.S. based founder of a super popular YouTube channel blog, Alani, says spark debate with the move. For context, she's vocal about the toxicity of body shaming and is big on body acceptance. Well, that's good. I like to see that. Now, what the fuck is this? What is this? I do not like this. Okay. Please. So she's talking about, so this is her talking about how she wants to lose some weight. Okay, get this fucking ad out of here. I thought you were going to say ass for a second. Get this fucking ass out of here. Get this ass out of here. She captioned saying, I gained 14 pounds in less than a year. Wrote down all my feelings in my latest post. Read only if you're not triggered by talk of weight scales and diets. I mean, it's good that she warned everyone. So she's talked about that her aim is to lose 16 pounds and get down to 20% body fat in 90 days. Then that she's doing this purely for herself. I mean, if that's what she wants to do, I don't think there's anything wrong with that. Do what you want to do for your own body. Everyone has body autonomy. Um, yeah, do get the bot, have the body you want. I do think it's important to be responsible with your platform if you are uh, influencing a lot of people. But she did explicitly say she's doing it only for herself and not to look at it if that's a thing that's going to stress you out. So I don't see the issue so far. Um. And then it says, as to her views on the pushback, what is the pushback? What pushback did she receive? This article did a shit job because it told us what she said and that she stressed about the pushback, but what 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 criticism did she receive? I don't get where where did she get criticism? Um Okay, so this article is just claiming she got criticism, but it doesn't include what any of the criticism is. Also, her dog's super cute. As dogs are. So I don't see. Okay, here we go. When it comes to this, what this 90 day challenge will look like, she explains she'll be doing more dance and Pilates, blah, 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 blah. blah. Okay. 
following a high fat, low carb diet. The reaction has been mixed. I love your honesty. I'm currently at a higher weight than normal too. Lots of stress and hormone changes, said one fan. Another added, I'm so proud of you. You continue to inspire me. This doesn't sound like pushback. Sounds like people are nice. Oh, here we go. Another commented, this is really sad and disappointing. There's nothing body positive about changing your body for aesthetics. I disagree with that. I think you can, I think here's the thing that people need to remember. I think people assign moral value to too many things when some things can just be a hobby. This is one thing I'm going to talk about in the Brene Brown video. Brene Brown's over here like drinking, drugs, promiscuity, sitting in front of the TV all night are all numbing agents to our shame. And I'm like, no, dude, for me, all of those things are hobbies. It is fine to get drunk too much as a hobby. That can be a hobby if you want. You just do it for fun. It doesn't have to be a numbing agent, right? It's fine if you want to get high and watch TV as a hobby, just as a thing that you do for fun. It doesn't have to be like some like grand thing about like how you feel empty inside or whatever. Sometimes you can just do things for fun. So it's the same thing with wanting to I'm sober to now. Your... I'm sober. Thank you, Savvy. You made me sober. I made I'm you throw, sober. I'm throwing my weed out now. When you, the way you described it as a hobby made me realize how much shame I have. I'm, I'm done. It's the other thing. You just gotta be like me and not feel shame. And then Brene Brown can call you a sociopath. And then you can just not feel shame over the fact that she called you a sociopath because you don't feel shame. No more weed for me. No more. Drinking. I don't believe you for one second on that. I'm not saying they have to be your main hobbies or your only hobbies. I'm just saying that you can just like doing things for fun and it's not that big a deal. Same thing with like people talking about like, oh, wanting to change your body for aesthetic. That's that's anti-body positive. It's like, no, dude, it's a hobby. Like let people bodybuild as a hobby if they want. Let people like just let people do whatever the fuck they want. Um, I agree with sodium and spite. Everyone gets to change their body however they fucking want. Um that's not true. See, exactly, Sarah. Sarah like says, I'm quite fulfilled as a human being. Getting high and watching TV is my favorite hobby. See, that's the thing. It can be your hobby if you want. One of my, I have many hobbies. Doll, doll modification is a hobby. Weightlifting is a hobby. I have hobbies that require lots of practice and work like those. But then also getting high and watching Rugrats reruns is a fantastic way to spend the evening. And there's nothing, there's nothing like numbing or morally wrong about that. Like just do what makes you happy in your life. Um, very empty right now d don't feel empty <laughs> i think i need to go for a walk and smoke some uh, weed okay so basically that's kind of the article as a whole uh kitty that it says when she talked about losing weight and having a specific number she wanted to weigh it went against everything she originally stood for so i can understand that if she was originally like i am a weight neutral platform i don't talk about weight or care about numbers on the scale and now she suddenly cares about numbers on the scale i can see her fans feeling a little bit like wait 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 i thought this wasn't what this was about so i can definitely see the issue there also because i think that weight itself is just one it's just one element it's just one piece of information it's not the whole piece of information cuz like i said when i gained 15 pounds my waist got 2 inches smaller so you got to do your measurements too. It's not just about weight. But she also said getting to 20% body fat. I don't know how people measure their body fat, but. There's a lot of ways. Yeah. Like, so I, I know so there's, there's some scales that do it. They're not a hundred percent. I mean, the, the, there's no, the only way to be a hundred percent accurate is I believe they lower you into a water tank and that costs the most money, but there are ways that you can sort of get a general idea. I, I mean, yeah. the, the, the big, the important thing when it comes to body fat, percentage tracking is that you're just consistent with how you're tracking and you follow the trend. So as long as you're consistent with the tracking and it's going in the direction you want, then you're good to go. Same thing with, for example, my Apple Watch's calorie burn. I know that it's not 100% accurate. I know it's good enough for me and it can at the very least keep track of my trending, uh, of my activity trends. Of yeah. it. Am I more or less active today than I was yesterday? Yeah. But I don't rely on it 100% for I burned this many calories today. Okay, wait, so Kat said something, I think this is a response to something else I need to learn. So Kat says, I can completely understand people getting ex uh, upset about body positivity being co-opted. It's about things being taken from marginalized people and almost changing the definition of it. So I guess that depends what people mean by body positivity. I guess what I, I think maybe it's like the idea that people are saying that is, and let me see if I understand this correctly. Are people saying that body positivity was originally a way because they're they're like the 
the media glorifies. Oh, see, RK's hair. Look, we're gonna be body positive about RK's hair today. The media glorifies certain body types and doesn't glorify other body types. So the idea of body positivity was to take the body types that aren't stereotypically glorified and be positive about those. So if someone else is saying, I'm still body positive, even though I have the body type that is stereotypically glorified, then it makes people feel like you kind of stole their thing. Is that what I'm, is that what the criticism is? Is I don't know if maybe I, maybe that's what I've got. Um, body positivity was hijacked by average people. <laughs> yeah. 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 Haley says body positivity has gone too far. In some ways people with loose skin and amputees have been told it isn't for them. That's weird. You would think that body positivity because like being like having a limb amputated is a body type that is not stereotypically glorified. So you would think that body positivity would absolutely be for them. I would, I would make the argument that they should be at the forefront. As Louisa says, wasn't body positivity originally started by people with disabilities and visible conditions then co-opted by weight focused people who pushed the originals out. Like that's why I think it makes sense to just have body positivity be for everybody. Like we should all, I, I like Kat's approach to all of this. Um, like when I talk to Kat about things and she talks about how like bodies are all morally neutral. There is like the idea that people want to assign moral values. And this is why, you know, criticize people like Rachel Hollis, who says Pam won't stick to her diet. Can you trust her? It's like trustworthiness and your body are not related in any way, shape or form. That I don't know, just... Rachel, you took vows of marriage and broke them. Can I trust <laughs> Can we you? trust you? <laughs> <laughs> exactly um uh, so yeah so i i can get that but yeah i think that it makes sense to look at bodies in a morally neutral way nobody is morally good or bad based on what type of body they have morality is all based on uh i guess that also depends on your own metrics and your own values too like do you find trustworthiness to be moral do you find kindness or uh honesty like what are the things that people find moral i guess you can judge based on that but someone having a certain body type doesn't really make sense to tie to morality in any any given way although morality is also relative so then we're going to get philosophical about the whole thing i i love i i know it's uh, insulting but i just love the former fats for the alliteration and i'm just imagining like a league of assassins of former fats just smothering people with loose skin you know just like wrapping around their mouth and nose and like just to, just to kill the skinnies we got the former fats and the skinnies and they're at war with each other uh yeah hey lisa's people started telling people oh. sorry i was gonna read out loud people oh, yeah. with loose skin that they are former fats and are harming people by having lost weight which goes back to the butt yeah that's the thing is you can't take it too far in any direction by the way we have 69 viewers right now that is nice nobody leave everyone stay where you are we have 69 viewers and they all need to stay right here um but yeah um if people like that, like the whole thing with like where Adele lost weight and people got mad at her for it, like that's dumb. Just let her do what she wants with her own body. If she's happy, that's great. Like let people do whatever they want with their own body. It's like not your anyone else's place to police that. Dude, the former fats have much better frat parties than the skinnies. Oh, I bet. I bet they do. Yeah, fuck the skinnies. Um, I'm kidding. I like. I like. I feel like talking about Nick Avocado, Avocado in the chat. Um. There is a documentary about him being made by, was it The Right Opinion? And it's literally five hours long. Dude, The Right Opinion is like, I don't really feel like making videos more than twice a year, but when I do, they are going to be Lord of the Ring Marathon. <laughs> like, like, literally, I've, I've watched part of it, but I always put it on and fall asleep to it. And I don't think I've seen the whole thing, but yeah. This is exactly what I'm going for. It's it's body types, West Side Story. West Side Story with different body types. I love that. And the fats are the enlightened people who sit on the clouds above laughing. Yeah. Yeah. The fats, the former fats, and the skinnies. I saw someone else then went and made a five-hour documentary about the H3 versus Keemstar beef. And I was like, there's no way this is going to be that interesting. 
So I put that it on was, and I fell asleep and I never saw the rest of it. It's not interesting at all. I know exactly who you're talking about. It's that's uh, Bo Blacks. Bo Blacks, yeah, okay. Because so I was like, I, it was like he's got a five hour video about one topic. It's got to be interesting. I turned it on, I fell asleep, and then I never watched it again. And I'm like, H3 and Keemstar's beef is not interesting. It's very obviously for views. And I wish I could like at least one of them. Like I wish um, I could like Keemstar because he's from Buffalo, but he just makes it so impossible. And I, I wish I could like H3, but Actually, I don't really wish I could like H3. Okay, so that's interesting. So Kat says, I try not to use body positivity because I don't want to take something from a group, but mostly because I think all bodies should have autonomy, which technically goes... Wait, all bodies having autonomy goes against the original body positivity meaning? That's... I didn't know that. I guess I maybe need to do more research into the origins of body positivity and what it meant. Um, Because I definitely thought having autonomy would be part of it, but I guess it's not. That's interesting. I really appreciate how we have this really in-depth and knowledgeable take by Kat, followed by SMT playing up the West Side Story angle. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. I love it so much. It's great. All right. So it looks like there's going to be a lot of uh, things to discuss this week about blog lotties uh just even today we got in this big body positivity discussion that can continue throughout the week as well i want to take a look at the video brianna jewel made about her that we can check out tomorrow we can check out some more uh videos and all of that um oh apparent okay so apparently yeah original body positive movement frowned highly on wanting to alter bodies through losing weight etc interesting that's what that's fascinating huh well i think it's important that everyone can do whatever the fuck they want with their body if you are fat and you're happy with that good for you dude i if you are skinny and you're happy with that good for you if you want to change your body and you do things to change your body and you find that fun good for you like it's not my business what other people do with their body that's up to them oh hello remy Who's a good boy? He's, He's such a, a douchebag. He was like stepping on my feet, just walking back and forth on them. I mean, I don't know. He 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 he's aspiring to be fat. One one day he's gonna join the ranks of fat. Yeah, Chewy wants to be fat too. He's always telling me that. I'm saying Chewy. The vet said you have to lose weight, and he's like, "Vet, stupid. Want to eat more snack, human." I'm actually kind of excited for Remy to be fat one day because he sort of bullies Logan right now. And when he's fat, he won't be able to reach him anymore. Oh, also, yeah. Kitty, let us know. I am seeing if I can see the, if Kitty said what day she's available to come, but I can't see if she did or not. Kitty, let us know if there's any day this week you're available to come on and talk about your experience. I'd love to hear that. So there is actually a philosophy book about Winnie the Pooh called The Tao of Pooh. I highly recommend it to anyone. It talks about how Winnie the Pooh is the ultimate Taoist figure in Western media. That's awesome. I I've know. Heard, I've heard about that book. I, I maybe should check Probably that out. Probably from me because it's not the first time I brought it up. No, I heard about it from I, someone in my grad school program was reading it too. Don't be a dick. Just let me let me let me have this. Well, well, no, maybe we should read it as a book club book. I'm down to read it we as a book club. Follow Winnie the Pooh one week. Could be Dude. fun. It's a cool book. It's a cool fucking book. And it's also really short. Oh, Kitty said she's free on Friday. Awesome. Okay, great. Friday sounds great. Uh, super sticker from SMT. It. Thank oh, you, SMT. okay. Monique and Kitty, I want to come in on Friday. Okay, sounds great. Sounds great. I just want to thank SMT for the super sticker. You guys are awesome. Um, and we got Lisa B. agreeing that the Dawa Poo is a wonderful well fantastic I'm all sorry, right we, are, we will read here. that i want to read that sounds pretty great that sounds great um all right guys so thanks for joining us at the earlier time uh chewy's gonna be happy that he gets an earlier walk i'm sure we'll see you guys again tomorrow at our earlier time again in the meantime and if we don't it's entirely your fault yeah if you're not here to uh, a dude okay we have 78 viewers right now and this is at the earlier time so i think i think this earlier time's working just fine I'm Thanks dropping. everyone for joining us. We appreciate it. Is Savvy dropping a uh, gay facts then? <sighs> That's me. That's you. That's me. All Miss right, y'all. Campo is dropping Baymax. I think that was his name in Big Hero Six. I was just going for the rhyme. I felt like I felt a little rappy. There you go. I like it. I Thank like you. it. We'll be back tomorrow at the same earlier time. Stay safe. 
Stay sane. Stay sexy. Destructive. Stay destructive. <laughs> Remember, everyone, if someone ever gets in your way, just blast them out of the way. Exactly. Exactly. We will we'll have a we'll see you tomorrow. Have a great Monday. Get more dogs because they scare people on the sidewalk and then you have a straight path to the park. There you go. There you go. And uh, cuddle your pets. Love y'all.